What's up guys, Marister here, and welcome to another Five Nights in Anime visual novel. This time made by someone called Turner J. Frost, who thank you very much for making this man. I can't wait to delve in and experience what you think of the Fania establishment. So we're going to get straight into it here, guys, and see what this is about. You drink your coffee when you spot an advertisement on the newspaper. Freddy's anime convention needing guards to work the night shift. Sounds cool. I've been looking for a job. Applicators are suggested to, er to arrive early for more info. Well, I better go, but maybe I should do some research first. So he wants to research this place. All right. I wonder what kind of research he'll find. So we're going to do some light research, sure. Someone died. Well, uh, it was probably an accident. Time to go. Don't worry, ma'am. Probably was an accident. I guess. You arrive at the premise and see the three animatronics on stage, singing and greeting the teenagers and adults. They move in a strangely like human way. You see three female guards. All right. We have more guards than one. And they're female too. Do we get to interact with them? Two of them talking to each other. You also see an attractive woman taking notes near the stage. Who will you ask? Purple haired girl. There's gonna be the purple girl. I'm assuming and guessing. Might not be, but come on guys. Purple haired girl. Come on. We got a brunette here. A matter of fan blonde. A brunette with headphones. Gotta choose the purple haired girl. It could be the purple girl here. And it is. It definitely is the purple girl. We have the purple hair. The purple hat. And that matted dang fine purple eyes. They are so shiny shiny. And I recognize this fine art too. Made by a girl named Naichi. She's done some fantastic fine arts and anime fine art in the past. And I really like this one too. I really like her take on the purple girl. I agree with this. It looks very good. I'm happy with that kind of design. You tap her on the shoulder. She turns around revealing that she was a bombshell. She had purple panties, purple hair, a hat, a security badge, and a shirt that showed her lovely figure. All right. Okay. So we're going to continue here and see what else she's about. Can I help you, handsome? Her name's Veronica, too. All right. Oh, uh, I'm signing up for the night guard job? Well, then I'm your girl. Name's Veronica. Some people call me Purple Girl due to my fondness for the color purple. Okay, I can see it. Purple's hot, by the way. <laughs> I like purple. I don't think we should, um, rush into it, guys, and say something like that. So we're just gonna say we like purple here. I might need to remember that. She gives you a wink. What's your name? All right, she's winking at me. Sure thing. Jason. Nice name. So I might need to fill you in before you sign up. This job is a bit dangerous. The animatronics are sweet and kind, but they, uh, well, you'll learn. Our last guard left some messages on the phone. They provide you some tips. Come on, I'll show you the rooms. So this is the show stage. The main three stay here. Their names are Freddy Fazbear, Barney the Bunny, and Chica the Chicken. This is the dining area. This is where the people eat, obviously. I don't really see anything. It's blanked out for some random reason. Why is there nothing here? Why isn't there a dining room picture? What's going on? This is the repair room. The two boxes are import animatronics from a sister. Sister restaurant. Isn't that interesting? All right. Has he infused the whole sister location with this? Because if he has, that would be pretty cool. You won't need to worry about them. These are the bathrooms. I don't need to tell you what these are for. Perfect for privacy. She looked at you with an infatuated stare. She then snapped back to reality. Calm down. <laughs> we've just met. All right, you're, you're very cute. But we've just met, crying out loud. <laughs> this is the closet. The spare animatronics. It's a shame. The golden bunny was my favorite. Something about her resonates with me. This is Pirate Cove. Foxy the Pirate lives here. I should introduce you, her to you. Foxy! Uh, yes. Uh, hi, Night Guard. Nice to see you again. Who's this? This is the new Night Guard. Oh, this is the replacement for that one, one lad that Freddy... <laughs> oh, thanks for talking to us. See you later. Okay, so the person who died was a previous Night Guard that Freddy did you know what. Ooh. Thanks, Foxy, for telling us that information. It was very, very needed. Thank you very much. This is Mangle Cove. Hey, Mangle. After a little bit, you see a yellow eye peek out. It closes quickly. Don't mind that. She is very, very shy. She's really sweet when you get to know her. She's the sister to Foxy, ironically. Oh, isn't that so cute? There are two holes, but other than that, there's nothing left. So are you sure you want to join? Uh, I didn't see what's wrong. Of course I'll join. Good choice. I hope you hear... I hope... Here you go. She hands you the papers. All right. After you finish it, she turns around to you. So, do you have any plans for this afternoon? 
She is very fast with this, guys. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Uh, depends. Do you uh, want to go on a date? You freeze. Uh, I mean, if you want to. Okay. How could I say no? <laughs> sure, but not right now. Uh, this is for the true ending. It won't work on other endings. Okay. Isn't that something? Of course. Well, I'm interested to see what happens if I say of course. Of course. <laughs> Great. I know a good restaurant. All right. That was random. It's sort of loaded here. Wow, we got another pose over here too. Or is that the same pose? I don't think it was actually. She sits down at one of the dining room tables. So we're going on a date with the purple girl. What the balls? <laughs> Ta-da. Should have guessed. You smiled. What do you want? Uh, pizza, I guess. So we're still in the, uh... In the, uh, restaurant here and we got all the night cheese artwork too isn't that something i told you she done some great artwork we got freddy there she did chica mangle bonnie and balloon bay and then foxy there some mighty fine fan art she did there i really enjoy it all right so sounds good i'll get you pepperoni she walks away swinging her hips she comes back five minutes later with a pizza box i just remembered you might get in trouble if you don't tell someone that you're off duty you're right. She pulls out a walkie-talkie from the back of her panties and asks the question to her superior. It's okay. I forgot to ask, uh, how'd you manage to walk around half naked in an establishment? In the roles, there is nothing against wearing panties and no pants. I still have to wear the uniform shirt and hat though. <laughs> Alright, so if you got the top half of the uniform, it's all good apparently in this place. Even I didn't know that, guys. I thought you had to be full in uniform, but the secrets I don't even know with this establishment, guys, okay? <laughs> Alright. I feel free when the I feel free when in this uniform. Also, it's easy to go to the bathroom. You don't have to tell us everything. Speaking of food, you should eat it before it gets cold. You two eat your food. Hey, quick question. What is your favorite animatronic? Uh, I don't know yet. I like the Fox Sisters though. Good choice. Mine is being Bonnie, as you know. Did you know what the golden animatronics are? Did you know that the animatronics were wearable? Really? But how? There's a special crank that switches them from animatronic mode to suit mode, which is much bigger to let someone inside. I never got used to them, but I wouldn't anyway. As cool as you would look, it was insanely dangerous. One mistake and it would switch back into animatronic mode and you would be crushed. Don't worry, it's never happened to our suits anyway. Well, that's good to know. Although someone died due to reasons we all know, guys. No one's died to reasons of springlock failure so far in the Fania establishment. So, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's kind of scary. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, do you? Want to go back to- Okay! It is moving even faster now, guys! Woo! This girl takes purple very, very seriously, guys. She dresses in purple, she lives in purple, she's the definition of purple, for crying out loud. Can you wait in here? She directs you to a room. I'll be right back. It was a lilac room. It seemed relatively normal. As you sit down on the bed, through few thoughts pass through your mind. Why did I get here so early? I just met her today. Why am I on her bed? And where are we going to? Are we going to have intercourse? Is there something more to this? You think of what to do. Okay, stay. You don't want to be rude. Search. Something fishy might be going on. Maybe we should search, but... I don't know. I am not sure. Something bad could happen. I don't know what to do, guys. I'll, um... Search. But she might catch us. That's the thing. Let's search. Probably a bad idea. You look around and don't see Veronica anywhere. You don't seem to see anything suspicious. You turn to go back when you see some papers on the kitchen table. They appear to be name change papers. One from 2008 and one from 2012. Both names were names of people in the news. Killers to be exact. It dawns on you. Stop. You aren't supposed to read that. You turn around to see her in lingerie. You're a killer. Why should I listen to you? It's a misunderstanding. I, I can explain. She walks towards you. Oh God. We've got a beautiful killer on our hands here, guys. What do we do? <laughs> you grab a kitchen knife and hold it in front of you. Stay there and let me leave. I, uh, I wouldn't have to use this. Stop. She continues to walk. You attempted to swing but missed. She grabbed the knife and stabbed you. I'm sorry. I had to do it for protection. A white light fills your eyes. Game over. What? <laughs> really? What? Well, that's just great. We, uh, you know, we get seduced by a very fine purple lady. She takes us to her apartment. 
and then we die. I mean, maybe if we didn't check the papers, we would have been all right, but for some reason I can't go back. So I'm going to end it here, guys. It looks like this game has many possibilities, which is absolutely fantastic. If you guys want me to come back to this and check out some other routes, definitely tell me in the comment section down below. But for now, we are sadly going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely hit that like button. And as I said, tell me if you want me to continue this game, because I think there's some absolutely great possibilities to go of this there seems to be quite a lot of roots and stuff so definitely tell me that in the comments but for now gonna end it here thank you guys for even watching today and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>